So I got a division two. Um, when it was on deep discount for like three seventy five, just before they released the Gangs of New York, and um, it's not as good as the Division One, but um, I love the Division series, so I picked it up. Um, I'm playing on my laptop, so as you can see, I'm getting like forty FPS. It's stuck there. I haven't been able to figure out why. Um, stuck at forty FPS. But, and I'm also playing with a PlayStation controller, PlayStation 4 controller, so, because I'm playing on a laptop, I can't really do mouse and keyboard, unless I plug in a mouse and keyboard, I don't want to do that. So, can I use a laptop like as a, um, a con like a console? So, throughout this gameplay, I was very tentative, um, playing on normal, you know, if it was mouse and keyboard, I'd play on a higher difficulty setting and I guess maybe later on when I am um, really get used to the settings and get used to the gameplay and get better gear and get a rifle because the rifle the rifle when I played the beta the rifle was a weapon to use you know you can just basically one shot maybe two shot people so the rifle I had was a green a green rifle um, green gear level 10 so and I wasn't able to aim properly with it either, so I just kind of gave up on it. Just went with the um, SMG and the shotgun. So, um, like I said, the gameplay is kind of tentative, but I enjoyed it. Um, the shotgun was surprisingly <laughs> useful. Um, so, initially when I played the beta, the um, the guns weren't really good. Uh, but it seems like they have, since then they've patched it. I don't remember how long the game has been out, but it's been a minute. Um, so, this is my gameplay. Um, first time in a long time picking the game up and playing it. Uh, I like, I like, I kind of like it, and um, I still haven't figured out whether or not I'm going to stick with the sentry, the turret, and the little healing thing I have, but. For now, it seems to work um, based on what I want to do. And when I played the original Division, um, I like playing co-op. I never really played by myself, except the, when you play the original story that one time. And I created two um, two characters and basically played co-op the whole time. So if I continue playing this game, I'm gonna look. I'm looking forward to playing co-op. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do raids and stuff because I'm using, like I said, a PlayStation controller and I'm not really, you know, the aim, the aiming is not too great with that when I use controllers, especially the PlayStation controller because of the two, the thumbsticks are in the middle right there and it's kind of, it's just not a good controller for me to use. I, I prefer using the um, Xbox controller because you can basically rest your thumb on the, um, On the left stick, kind of when you're shooting and stuff, it kind of gives you more control over the character versus trying to aim with the two sticks in the middle on the PlayStation controller. It's kind of weird. But I've been using the PlayStation controller a lot lately because I have a lot of PlayStation games I want to play. And because of the, the, um, the X key on the Xbox controller, and I guess it's the cross on the PlayStation controller, which we we could also call an X, but apparently it's a cross. Anyway, I, I always get them mixed up because these two companies, maybe Microsoft is at, is at fault here because the PlayStation was around long before and had the the X or the cross, you know, as the bottom the bottom key, and then Microsoft came out and said, no, 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 we're gonna put the X as the West key. <laughs> you know, so now it's like on, on the left side, on the left, the left key, the left button. Uh, and so now when I'm playing between my PC and my control uh, and a PlayStation controller, I can't. <laughs> Sometimes I mix them up and I'm, when the X come on the screen, I'm, I'm pressing the, the X in the wrong spot. And 
different controls, vice versa. It's just a mess, a messed up thing. So it's kind of a weird. But I, when I have the Xbox controller, I make the mistake less. I make the mistake more when I have the PlayStation controller. So I've decided to play with the PlayStation controller a lot more to see if I can get more familiar familiarity with it. Um, I'll get more familiar with it. So, um, you know, and, and I like the, the quality of the picture of the division. Division is always a beautiful game. The first game was beautiful. The second, this game right now looks great as well. Look how clear it looks. Unbelievable how good it looks. Um, and this is a multiplayer or online game versus a lot of some single players. Like, think about what the <laughs> Xbox was trying to do. They were trying to come out with Xbox with, with Halo um, Infinite looking like trash when games like this exist. You know what I'm saying? How can you, oh, next gen, how can you come up with a next gen game looking like, oh, that game look in that video that they showed when a game like this is like basically a year old looks like this. The Division looks better than, than, than uh, the original game looked better than what they were showing for X for Halo Infinite too. So it's, it's kind of weird where they are in terms of like their thinking or oh, because it's Halo they didn't have to really do real graphics they could just put some BS 2000 and you know seven graphics out there and say hey don't worry about it it's Halo you know it was it was dumb it was I couldn't believe it. and that's the thing about game companies in general right they're a bunch of smart people but it's kind of baffling sometimes like how can you be so smart in designing games but there's one crucial step you miss like oh we're not gonna make the game accessible um in terms of like you can't use a controller or you can't um you know rebind your keys or it's always dumb stuff that they do so i don't know anyway this um uh mission here destroy the munitions um stockpiles and stuff um I was, like I said, I was very tentative because I didn't, you know, I'm, this is my first time playing it since, whatever, since the beta, or maybe a free weekend, I played a free weekend once. So I didn't really want to, and of course I'm using a controller, so I didn't, I wasn't confident rushing in and trying to be Rambo. So I was very tentative and tried to stay alive. I didn't know how many enemies were going to spawn, and if they're going to rush me, and like, like in Division, you know, you see a guy rushing with a with a shotgun. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you don't get him down quickly, he's gonna he's gonna shoulder you or shoot you down. So I was ready. I was ready. To, very tentative with this um, playthrough here because it's the first time in a long time since I played it. Playing with a controller, especially a PlayStation controller, has just been yeah. So I apologize if it doesn't look <laughs> the game if it doesn't look too crisp or anything, but because yeah, I just wanted to play the game and enjoy it, and I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. The guns feel good, you know. The shotgun especially feels satisfying. But um, I had to be tentative because I didn't, I didn't um, know how much, you know. How, how the gameplay is going to be, how much damage is going to be done to me, and how, you know, how easily I would go down on that. So I would, um, so pretty tentatively, but, you know, it was good. It was a good gameplay. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I like how my character looks too. I got a, I got a bomber jacket. I got that sweet um, helmet that I have on. I'm still undecided about the pants on the shoes though. Because the pants had some red um, coloring there at the bottom. I don't like. Or maybe I should match it with the red shoes or, or shoes with red line, um, soles or something. I don't know. But I like the blue shoes because it reminds me of a shoe, a pair of shoes that I really have in, that I have in real life. So that's why I like wearing it. But. Uh, Looking at the video now, um, it looks, you know, the game looks good. Let's hope I can 
continue playing it, level up, and then play some co-op. You know, let's finish the story part of, the, of this mission. And the shotgun is sweet, man. The shotgun is a maybe I can get a really good one later on. Cause right now I think I'm level, yeah, I'm level ten, and um, I think in the first division it was level thirty. Then it went up to like you know forty and fifty or whatever. I don't know, but. I think it's over level 30 now, right now, in the current state of the game. So. Next time I play, I'll do a lot more, I'll, I'll do some more side quests and then continue the story mission. And then, um, you know, I, I don't want to rush it. I want to play a, a lot of the division too. And I also want to play, um, Wildlands 2, aka Breakpoint. I want to play that as well. Because I already kitted out my um, my team. I have like a. Since they introduced the bots, they added the bots in the game. I I got three bots, three teammates now, and um, I kitted them. I kitted them out like me. So can't wait to play that game as well. But I've been playing a lot of Borderlands 3, so. It's been so much fun playing Borderlands, and because uh, I got some new weapons for my um, for my clone, and it's just the Sandhawk and guns like that, and it's been great. But I think what I'm gonna do is play the board, play Borderlands on the weekends, and play the Division and Breakpoint during the week, and in that way I can get. You know, a lot more gaming and stuff to spend Borderlands all the time. I think they're gonna raise the cap level on Borderlands again. I ain't gotta go farm new weapons, but I'm not gonna do it during the week. I'm gonna do it on the weekend. Cause they're not careful, man. Borderlands will give you OCD. Cause <laughs> all the different gear and just uh, it's too much. You know, I saw a spreadsheet the other day about where everything is, and it's like. The funny thing about that, those spreadsheets and about and those websites that tell you where stuff is, most of the time when you go to your farmer guy, let that um, anointed in that prison, you go farm him. Um, that guy drops a, I killed him about thirty times. He dropped a face puncher once. <laughs> I'm like, no, I can't do that, man. I can't farm like that. I gotta farm like regular, gigamayan. Um, what's his name? Tron, General Tron, Captain Tron, Grey Ward. Just for me, regular bosses, man. And no one again, no one again, they might drop a face, um, drop a face puncher. And I'm hoping it's, it has a role that I want. But to go and farm a guy that doesn't drop anything else and he doesn't drop his dedicated weapon for like 30 rounds, it's ridiculous. So no, I can't do that farming unless. They come back with a um a boss event where they drop a lot and cause I got like about I got several Sandhawks um from Karagawa Jr. and then when I go try to farm him outside of the boss level event, he doesn't drop anything. So no. Forget that. So yeah. But here I thought there were gonna be guys more guys rushing out. When I completed, you know, some of these, um, you know, stages here, I thought there were more guys coming through from different places. So I was, I was worried that's what happened. But the mission, I guess, was over. So anyway, I enjoy this game, this little mission, playing in first time in forever. Uh, it was very good. Um, the game is good. My main thing right now is. Yeah, I'm playing with a PlayStation controller and my FPS is capped at level 40, at 40 FPS because I'm playing on a laptop for some reason, I don't know. But um, sometimes it, alter, not during this gameplay, but sometimes when I'm in base, it goes up to 60. But when I go out in the, in the world, it goes to 40. I don't know why it does that. Try to search internet, but I couldn't find anything. Won't be able to launch any major offensives in this area anytime soon. Good work. 
So yeah, man, good game.